For these who don't know me, I'm Art Invader, a digital artist from Berlin. And I post regularly short tutorials on my Instagram and TikTok about Blender and Cinema 4D and also my art. So if you don't know me, please follow me there and support me. If not, it's also okay. Today we will create this beautiful, stunning, amazing, mm. wonderful animation. <laughs> this animation is really cool for you because it's the basic for every landscape. You will learn how to create moon, lightning, water. Fluids are always so complicated, but in this tutorial it's so easy. In this tutorial especially, you will also learn a lot about camera, all functions of the camera and we will also animate it because it's not always a straight hard camera, it's also a fluid wavy camera sometimes. Mm. Today you will learn this and uh, yeah, let's start with the tutorial. The 3D, <laughs> the 3D objects. 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 So, all right, let's start with the tutorial. We delete, as always, light, cube, and camera with the X key. And in the next step, we will create our water, like here in my example. <laughs> and for this, we need a plane. And you can find it here. And now we work with a deformer. You have to go here under this icon, then to the physics, and we need the ocean deformer. And now the plane is already bigger, but we need it bigger than this. Here we repeat every axis by 3 and here by 2. Okay, in the next step we change here the resolution. I take here always 15 and by renderer 30. And now we also animate the water directly because we are here in the tag. And for this we need a formula, it's hashtag frame divided by 35, 35 are the frames, then you can press enter and if you uh, press play now, the water is animated. Great, now we um, customize our waves and for this we change the depth to 130, the size 1 is ok, here we choose 50 is also ok and randomness 30, yeah, looks better. Now we go under waves. Here we increase the scale by two. Smallest wave. Uh, I take their zero because you lost details if you use this value. Uh, that's the reason why I choose zero. <laughs> As you can see, now it looks like water and it's really wavy. It's really easy, oh? In the next step, we add a plane as background. So here's the plane. You can directly scale it up here to fit the whole size of the water. And yeah, like this. Now we can rotate it by 90 degrees. Like this and bring it to the right position. Perfect. In the next step, we create the moon. And for the, this, I used a sphere, sorry. <laughs> and we scale it up 15 by 15, like this. And we don't need um, the y axis, so 3 free is enough. And now we put it here in the back. It has to be between the background and the water, like this. Now we can Press with the right mouse button on it and choose Shade Smooth. Perfect. And yeah, that's it for the 3D materials. And now we came to the materials. You want my project file? You can get it. On Patreon you can find my project with all textures I use. There you can also support me as an artist so I can create more cool stuff for you. And a very big thank you for my Patreons. You are the best. And now we came to... The materials. We split first the view in two. So we go here to the left side until a plus appear. And now we change here to... Shader Editor. 
And now we change also here to viewport shading number four. And first we add a light and here I worked with a HDRI map. Okay, no, it's not really a HDRI map. It's a picture from Pinterest. It also work. And uh, yeah, I show you how. You go here to the world mode, then you search for image texture as usually, also for mapping and texture coordinate, and then you can connect it. And now you get the cool colors from the image. And you can also search for hue saturation value. And there you can increase the saturation and the hue as ever you want. But I want the same colors, but only stronger. All right. Now we go to the materials for the objects. All right, now we came to the moon. I already created the material. I will explain you what I did. Um, here are my values in general, what I used in the principle BSDF. And uh, here I inserted also an image texture. It's the texture of a moon. I connected it here and also I worked with the HR RGB curve to get uh, more details in it. And I also worked with a normal map, connected with the bump and put it here to the normal. And I also want that it glow later on. That's the reason why I connect the image texture with the emission tag and I increased it here to 9.3. We will later on work with the camera values and the bloom value, then you will see the glow that I added here in this example. Okay, now we came to the plain, plain background. I also created uh, the background before. Here I worked like usual with the texture coordinates, mapping, image texture, and I also inserted here this beautiful Pinterest image. I link you the image in the caption. And um, yeah, I also worked here with you saturation and changed here the saturation and then you can connect it with the base color. And to get here also a shiny background like a sky, I also connected here with the emission and color. And here I increased the strength to 0 0.3. All right, now we came to the water. Um, here I created also a normal texture. I increased metallic to get the sky reflection in the water. I also changed the color to a gray a little bit. And of course, I increased the whole transmission to one to get a transparent material. And here's the clue. I worked with texture coordinates and connected with mapping. And I also inserted here the Pinterest uh, image that uh, we get a uh, transparent sky um, material for the water and it looks like this. It's um, at the same time the reflection of the metallic texture from the plane and you have also transparent sky material from the image in the water. All right, in the last step we go to camera and we set a check mark to ambient inclusion. These are my values. These are my values for bloom and uh, these are my values for screen space reflections. I also added a check mark to um, motion blur and that's it for the materials. The animation. The animation, 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 animation. See, we also animate the camera that it gets this illusion of the camera is swimming on the waves. And for this, we change again to this shader view and we go here to the camera and change the focal length to 30 to get a better overview or 35 from the uh, whole animation. Now it looks like this, really stiff. And to get this effect, we have to put a new plane in the scene. All right, and I already did it. So I know the coordinates of the plane are 30 and minus, minus 12. It's here in the end of um, the animation. And in the next step, we choose the plane. We go in the edit mode and subdivide it. So you can also go here. 
by 5, like this. Now we go back in the object mode. And now we go here to the modifier property and choose the uh, deformer. And it's the shrink wrap deformer. And under target, we choose the water. And now the plane is animated like our water. And now we connect the plane with our camera to get the same movement. And for this, we choose the plane. And then we go here and we have to choose a vertex group. So we create a new one. And now we have to go to the edit mode to assign these points from the water uh, to our plane. Now it's assigned. Now we go back to the object mode. And now we choose the camera and we have to go to the constraints and we have to choose copy location. And now we have to take with the pipette our plane and also our vertex group. And as you can see, our camera is now here at this spot and is waving with our water. <laughs> so if we switch now in the camera view, it's not so good of course and uh, to fix it we have to put a check mark to offset now we choose our plane and we have to put the camera here like the plane in front of now we go again to the view and now we can also here play with the location to fix it like this so to get more movement, we put the animation slider to the beginning, choose the camera, and we add some rotation. And for this, insert a keyframe under rotation. And now we have to change here to the graph editor. So, like here, the rotation, yeah. And now we go here to the modifier. Wait, I make here some space. Okay, to the modifier, and here we choose a noise, noise deformer. And here we increase the scale to 25 and the strength to 2. And now if you hit play, you see it's rotate a lot, but we will fix it later on, like this. Uh, okay, now we copy it. You can copy the modifier when you press this icon, then you go to uh, the Y rotation and put it here. For offset, you choose a value 500, for example, to get a, another curve like this. And you repeat it here for the Z rotation. And here you can choose whatever you want, 250. And if we hit play, you have a random rotation. But yeah, it's really strong, but uh, we will fix it now. So we can close this window and now we go also to the camera, cut, and now we search here for, for track 2 and here we choose our moon. Now if we hit play, it's like in the beginning, no rotation, but we can change the influence value to 0 0.95 and now you can get a mix out of the, our rotation and our uh, animation. I think it's still way too strong, so you can also take another value. And now I think it's perfect. That's it. Well done, Art Invaders. If you want to support me, subscribe to the channel or follow me on Instagram or TikTok. It would be so great if you leave a short message that you are here from this tutorial, so I know you are a real person that like my stuff and nobody else. Mm. There you can also tag me at Art Invader and I will repost as a thank you your artwork in my stories. And you can also suggest some artists for the next video. It would be also really interesting to see someone out of my bubble. So, uh, by the way, you like this video? Show it with a like or a comment. <laughs> Alright, see you in the next week.